Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome to Farming Simulator here in the beautiful farm of, uh, farming area of Felsburn. We're here just finishing cleaning up our Massey Ferguson. We put it through, uh, we put it through its paces last episode, uh, the last couple of episodes, so I thought she deserved a nice little wash. And now, she's all clean and shiny, look at that. I've got 20, almost, I've got 21 and a third hours on this. I don't think I'd ev ever thought I would have got this many hours on a tractor. Normally when I play this game myself, I just change out tractors all, all the time, but I thought sticking with one would be nice. It'll be one I know, one I can work with, and in the future, as I always hope to, I am hoping to get a bigger tractor, or not a bigger tractor, but I do want to upgrade the uh, Fiat. I do like the Fiat, but it's so slow. <laughs> It's, uh, it's really good for what it is, but it's not good for traveling anywhere, and uh, yeah, I need something that can do both. I need something that can pull and something that can move, And but unrelated to that, we are coming over here to buy a new piece of equipment, and I probably shouldn't buy it. I probably should just lease it, but I don't want to lease stuff anymore, and that is going to be a weeder. Uh, we're going to get the Einbach Pneumatic Star 900. And it's honestly pretty good. It's nine millimeters. Um, pulls weeds. Does the job. You know, this one's 12 meters, but it costs a lot more. So, yeah, we're going to buy this guy for 18000 Yeah, as I said, we could just lease it and, and, and return it. But I don't want to lease equipment if I can help it. Not that it's bad to lease equipment. Like, it's actually fantastic to be able to lease equipment. But I, uh... I want to actually own things in this game. And from the next couple of harvests we get, we're not going to really need to worry about money. As I said, hopefully, like, yeah, don't worry, I just spent a ton of money on this. Um, but it's the same amount we spent last time, and we made it all back in that same episode. So I think running this guy in here will be good. Um, and I thought I'd give it a try for two reasons. One, uh, where is it? This field isn't grown yet. And I've never played around with the weeders before. So since it's not grown at all, I can use this instead of using the liquid fertil uh, the liquid herbicide. And this will make it so all of the weeds are actually gone. Which, as I said, is something I've never done before. So this will increase the yield uh, a lot because it's pulling the solid. Is it pulling the grass on the edge too? That's cool. I think it's killing the grass on the pulling the grass on the edge. No, it's not there. I don't know. Maybe it's just my brain. <laughs> but yeah, everything's coming along great. Um, I think the canola field will be ready soon. The sunflowers are in first stage. I think those are in second stage. The canola back there, and I want to try and get that third field planted to or fourth field planted today. That one right there. But I don't know if it's going to happen because there's a lot that I want to get done today. Planting being one of them, but I also want to get. Um, the rest of that area there, mowed and baled into hay. And I'm hoping, um, well, I might end up sleeping until the morning, but I want to try and get the canola field done as well. I think that'll be nice to have. That'll get us some money in our pocket. Uh, actually, no, that's soybeans, if I remember. Not canola, it's soy. Yep. There we go. My brain's messed up. But yeah, it's soybeans, not canola. So, this is actually working really well. Um, it's a bit slower than spraying it, but if I pull the weeds out rather than just leave them to grow, uh, like kill them with the, the herbicide, they actually don't take up growth potential of the actual crop that's in this field. And personally, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's better. You know what I mean? I'm, I know if I spray it now, I think it'd do the same thing, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I want to run the weeder. Because I think that'll just be better. But as you can see, it's going to be slow going. And I think the best way to do this is we're going to throw it into a quick time lapse. Um, I'm thinking 15 seconds. So, I don't know what I'm going to do for 15 seconds while that's playing. I'll probably find a really, 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 really short song. But, let's hop on in. Get this time lapse in and out of the way.
was actually pretty easy. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> it's nice to have a, you know, a nice little thing here. And it looks like I'm able to plant with this. I don't know for sure. I didn't actually pay attention to it. It does have a capacity and it shows grass. So I'm assuming I can plant something. Um, I was taking a look through the F1 here just to see, but it has no options for choosing seed. So I'm assuming it probably does just that. But it's not a problem either way. Uh, if I can plan with it in the future, I might. Who knows? But our next job, actually, oh, I even had the sprayer all set up. Because my initial plan was to use the sprayer, but I went, hey, there's actually nothing grown. Maybe whoop, maybe we just uh, go and use the other bits. I, probably, I was just going to back this in there, but I always just pull through on my trailers. So I may as well just put this right here. Whoop. B and Q. There we go. Everything's disattached. And now what I want to do, as I said, we might do some mowing, but I want to see what we have for contracts. So we have fertilizing on 13. 13 is big, though. Yeah, right here. Um, 26. Because as I said, I think, well, this is, I think it only requires 100 for my weeder. So we could probably just have something go over there. Uh, yeah, it even says using a weeder. <laughs> it doesn't pay much, though. Uh, fertilizing 12. 12 and 13 would be two big jobs. Um, I could just lease the equipment on one of them. Hmm. See, last time when we did 12, they gave us the big boy spreader. And I was really... The big boy sprayer. And I was really hoping... That somebody would have that listed again, but it does not look like it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pick up any of the jobs today. They're all big fields, which isn't like a huge problem, but like I'd take this if it wasn't so small money. This 18K would pay off what we just spent today. Uh, well, it's like 17.6, but it's fine. Um, and it would be really nice, but it would cost us money to do it because I'd throw the small tractor on and I have to keep carting stuff back and forth fluid wise so uh what i think we're gonna do instead is i'm gonna get set up and i'm actually gonna get the mowing done off camera real quickly on these sections here this long straightaway and see if i want to do it actually i don't think there's any space around the edge here let me take a look yeah there's not really it might not even be worth it to mow to be honest Cause yeah, I'd get this, but it doesn't really seem worth it. And then we already mowed all the way up to here. You know what? I'm not going to mow today. I was really planning on mowing, but it's not really worth it to mow from here to there. That might be three bales. So I'll just leave it. We'll do it all together next time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to putt around and do a couple of little bits of maintenance around here uh, just to pass the time in the day until this field grows. If not, it'll be tomorrow morning in game. So let me get some maintenance done on some vehicles, get some other things cleaned up, and I will see you when our soybeans are ready to harvest. All right, good morning, guys. It is bright and early. 30, 60, 95. All right, so let's sell off some 10 chickens. I'm trying to do that every so often, sell off some of these chickens. Um, do they have... Okay, so they'll just say stock. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that works. We're going to sell 10 chickens. Yeah, I know it's only a hundred bucks, but that hundred bucks helps. And as I said, I haven't seen an actual trailer for chickens. Uh, I did find one, I think, when I was searching through modded trailers. I could probably find others, but it's not really worth it, to be honest. I'll eat the hundred bucks every time because they're just chickens. I don't really mind. And they're making me money, you know? It's free money. And I'm fine with it. So what we are going to do now is, whoop, I just, damn it, I hit the Zeigler. We're going to get this harvested. So we uh, took a quick nap last night. Yeah, I did end up bailing, uh, mowing and bailing. It 
It ended up being four bales, so I, I can't remember if I said four or six, but it ended up being four bales. There's three still on the field. One was in my uh, baler when I was bringing it back, so I just dumped it off and put it in storage there, which is very nice. So we've got a couple more bales. I'm going to keep them because I'm going to end up needing the hay for something. There's not really a point in selling the hay or the straw right now. Um, I sold off a lot of it before because we were just having tons and tons of wheat, which was nice to have. I think we're doing wheat. I can't remember what we're doing. I think it was wheat. Um, and the sunflowers aren't ready, but I think they'll be ready tomorrow. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that for tomorrow. And I'm hoping with all of this, between these two fields, we'll be able to make a good amount of money. Uh, well, I, I say a good amount of money, but I'm hoping we'll be able to make enough money for me to finally feel comfortable buying the, um, the sheep pasture and the sheep. So we're going to have to work with that. Oh, uh, I forgot about that. I set the guy up there to fertilize the oats. And I think there's actually 26 and 27. I think I'm actually going to get those guys set up to be fertilized. They are not our fields. They are jobs that are looking to be done. There are a lot of harvest jobs right now. But since we were harvesting today, I wasn't going to rent another, uh, another machine to do it. We might end up picking up the one next door afterwards uh i don't know what that one is i think that's soybeans isn't it we were checking it earlier uh yeah that's soybeans next door so oh no not soybeans sorry canola this is soybeans so we'll probably end up harvesting that because as i said it's right next door you know what i mean i think when we're done today we'll probably throw this on there because well honestly there won't really be much else to do aside from planting and those were really the main things i was hoping to get done today was just get this field set and harvested, fertilize that field, and as I said, I was planning initially on doing the mowing, and then I said no, and well, I was standing around with nothing to do waiting for the night to pass, so I decided to uh, mow, Ted, row, and bale. It's a lot of work getting hay. <laughs> oh, it is crazy, but what I'm going to do quickly is I am going to finish these headlands, and then we're going to throw a quick worker on. I'm not going to keep a worker on it the whole time because I want to set up a worker spraying those other fields because I think that'll be nice to have. Get us a little bit of extra money rather than having a tractor sitting around doing nothing. Um, I know I could set up my other tractor on planting that third field uh, on that that section over there, but I'm not going to. We'll, uh, we'll end up planting that ourselves throwing the other dude on there so let me uh step away for a quick second i'm gonna throw a worker on this to start heading up and down and then i i'm gonna get that guy driven all the way over to there okay welcome back i got our guy set up over there taking care of the other field and i'm gonna quickly empty the rostle mash here the rostle the rostle smash or whatever it is the nova 330 <laughs> our combine harvester because he's looking about 80, well he was 80% full, he's more, but we'll uh, get this emptied and then we'll be able to, actually you know what, while that's emptying, let me just hop in here and get rid of the worker. Boom. Thank you Helper G, it was very much appreciated bud. But yeah, this place is looking real nice. I am very happy. I was a bit skeptical when I first started if I'd be able to actually do this and I'm pretty happy. You know, and it was it was a bit tough. Like in the beginning, it was yo, I got a quarter million dollar. Uh, sorry, quarter, yeah, quarter million dollars. This will be fantastic. Actually, I can't remember how much we had, but it was a lot. I think it was actually it was one point five or something like that. But we had a lot of money, and I went, hey, this is gonna be easy. And then we bought a bunch of stuff, and I went, oh, this might actually be kind of hard. <laughs> I am genuinely worried now, but we've uh, we've come through. We're doing good. We're making money. Yeah, don't no wrong. I spent a lot of money. <laughs> I think we had like sixty-seven thousand, and now we're at thirty-nine. So between overnight fees, um, just sustaining buildings, buying fertilizer, uh, you know, just those kind of things there have cost us a little bit of money. Oh, and the eighteen k on the uh, the weeder didn't help either. And I really should have rented it, and I chose not to. <laughs> But as I said, I don't think it'll really affect us. It'll do fine. I'm probably going to end up just returning or resell. I'll probably sell the weeder 
at some point. Uh, as I said, I do like the concept of it. I just don't know how often we're going to get to use it. And I'm kind of bummed about that, as I said. I liked it because it's a bit expensive up front, but I never have to put anything into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have to do maintenance, but I don't have to worry about filling it with fertilizer, which is very expensive. Um, just to top off 35% of that uh, bit over there was 430 bucks. So, it's very expensive, <laughs> buying liquid fertilizer, or fertilizer in general. So, it's kind of a bummer, but I think we'll be able to get it done. And what I'm going to do quickly is finish up this field here it shouldn't take me too long uh, same as per usual I'm gonna throw on some tunes and finish it up We switched over, got our guys started on the second field up there. We're almost done here. It's going to be a little bit more than one pass, sadly. That's what it looks like at least. Nope, we might be able to get... Yeah. Might be a bit touchy at some points, but we have to get two patches anyway. And it looks like it would be... Probably about one and three quarters of the harvester here. Because I think it was at like 85% last time uh, when we were emptying it. It's in here. It's doing good. I don't really mind. It's going to be nice and full. And I think it's still a good price on this stuff at the moment. Uh, I'll take a look in just a moment. Because why not? But we do have a lot of eggs to sell, which is nice. We have one full container at least. And maybe a couple others. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, it looks like one and three quarter pallets. Which will be a decent amount of money. It's probably going to be like six maybe 7,000? Well, actually, no, because I don't think they're in high demand right now, so there's not a, a big demand for them, so it's going to go back to the standard price, which I say is, is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, uh, we can't always get that high demand whenever we want it, you know? And it seems to only, so far, it's only been on eggs and wool. So we'll have to play around with that. Once we get the sheep going, I think that'll be nice. We'll be able to start getting a lot of wool from that. And hopefully, uh, well, because sheep are more expensive, we're probably not going to fill it up anywhere near as fast as the chickens did. Uh, even though that did take me a little while, but they do breed pretty fast, especially when you get a lot of chickens in there. So that'll be nice. We'll be able to get that going. And I'm really looking forward to sheep. I know I've been talking about sheep a lot lately in the game, and I just... It's, I've never gotten to the point in a game where I've gotten sheep, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's, it's a big deal for me, personally, um, in farming sim in general. So, normally, I never get more than, like, this field, you know what I mean? When I've played before, I just end up buying, like, a bunch of stupid equipment that's way overpriced and way too big for what I need, and then I just never can afford anything else, so. I've learned a lot so far getting ready for this. And uh, doing all of this here. Oh, let's get these guys cleaned up. I'll probably need to give these guys some food soon. Oh, let's uh, take a quick look. But yeah, so like I'm, I'm real happy. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little low. We can top that off at some point today. But I'm pumped. Uh, we've got a constant bit of growth going. We've got pretty much everything we need. And as I said, I'm really happy with it. And I don't really know what else. <laughs> I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm just happy. So I think we're going to uh, contact Daniel Kohler here and get their field done. Uh, along with, that guy should be three, two more passes? Three more passes maybe over there. Um, I don't think we're going to get that third field planted today. Uh, yeah, because we've, <laughs> we're going to have a lot to do. So let's take a look at our map now. So this is harvested. Let's see so yeah harvested harvested so these both need to be planted i don't th think yeah everything looks good on this map on this section here uh, where is it right here 
Um, yeah, I could always use a little bit of lime, but I'm not going to worry about the little strips. I don't really think that's going to cause a huge problem. But actually, the real reason I opened this up, let's take a look at prices. Soybean. Ooh, it's actually not worth a lot. Um, hmm. Should I sell it or should I save it? This is, I have 268. Oh, do I have some of this in my silo? Huh. I didn't think so. I'll take a quick look. But uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at the train station mill to get this dumped off. And you know what I am going to do? Um, yeah, let me do that. I'm going to run over there. We'll, uh, as I said, I know it's not the best price. But we're going to swing on over there and dump it off. And I'll show you guys how much we make. Okay, we are here. Now let's see how much we're going to make off these soybeans. 3K, 4K, 5. I'm pretty happy. I'm hoping 8. Yeah, easily made 8. <laughs> that was a good field. I am very happy with that harvest there. Hopefully the sunflowers bring us even more because what's the current average price of sunflowers? A little bit lower, a little bit lower, uh, but I think that'll be good. On top of that, we've got oats, and I think that'll be good. So yeah, I know oats is worth a little bit less, but oats usually has a higher yield per acre or hectare for the overseas people. Uh, so that one's usually pretty good and I don't actually remember the yield balance on sunflowers but it's still gonna be good money nonetheless that made back a good chunk so we were at 30 yeah 38 ish 37 and change so I'm happy to have some money back in the bank as I said hopefully if not at next episode ooh, I got stuck there I don't know what just happened Sorry, uh, hopefully next episode, if not the episode after, we will definitely be getting some sheep in. Uh, I think what we're also going to do next episode is I have some stuff that's just kind of kicking around that I'm not going to use anymore. And we're probably going to end up selling it. And I'm considering... Well, actually, no, I was going to say I'm considering ending the lease on a couple of things and buying them. But we'll, uh, we'll hold off. I don't mind leasing the items that we're currently leasing. For now, at least, I would really like to uh, not have to lease them anymore. But it's going to get the job done with what we have. So, yeah, there's a couple of things I'm selling. I'm considering selling the truck. I don't know if I will. Um, eh. <laughs> so we'll have to look into that. But I am going to sell the old sickle bar mower that we had because we do have a replacement mower. I did mean to sell it last episode and didn't. And I think. That might be it. I don't know. We're going to look to upgrade our wind rower next. That's what I want to do because that tiny little one is just annoying to deal with. And I want to get something a little bit better, especially when we're going to start doing a grass field. So it would be very much appreciated for uh, to be very useful for that. Oh, you have plenty of turn space. Don't be stopping. I was looking at that car. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, those are the plans for next episode. And this one here is uh, going to be coming to an end right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping in. I hope you did enjoy. If you guys have any ideas for little things we can do, uh, fun little mods we can add. Oh, I just remembered. Hold on. Before we do outro, I found a new mod that I want to. I'm not going to place it down today because it does cost me money. Uh, where is it? Right here. Yeah. We're going to buy a taco stand. <laughs> Um, it does give us income, but I want to have a taco stand and I don't know where I want to put it yet. Um, I was scrolling through the mods the other day and saw, whoop, no more pallets, space. All right, I'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> sorry, distracted. Yeah, I saw that. And I don't, I don't know where I want to put it yet. I'm considering, uh, let's hop into landscaping. I'm considering either right here. Or making a little lot area right over here, like taking down these trees and putting in like a little, or actually probably these ones right over here would work better. I take down that tree, 
that tree and that tree and put in like a little lot over here with my taco stand. I don't know if we're going to do that yet or when, but uh, if that does sound like a fun idea to you guys, please do let me know. But as I was saying before I remembered my taco stand, I want to thank you guys for stopping in. I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.